Welcome to the final leg of today's Cheche. This is a show where opinion counts. My name is Fred Indemuli. In studio today, we do have Samuel Gevenji, chairperson of the National, NGO, National Council of NGOs, a self-regulating non-partisan body comprising all registered NGOs in Kenya. Today, we're looking at NGO wars. What exactly is facing our NGO sector? We also do have our regular panelists, Mutegi Njau and Charles Odhiambo. We want to wrap up this show. Just before we come back to the discussions, let me look at more texts coming our way through 22422. Um, Someone says here, yeah, someone asks, who pays Gedenji's salary? He is defending these NGOs blindly and he doesn't seem to know the role of the government. Um, someone says, Morning Cheche, I'm a former board member, NGOs board. Three problems de bedeviling the sector one, a dead NGO council. Mm -hmm. Two, a rogue CEO of the NGO board who doesn't follow any piece of law. And three, a non operational office of a substantial chairman of the board. So Fazul is everything. Can the NGO representative distinguish for us the mandates granted to the NGO board in regards to those registered under the register of society and not NGO board? I do not uh, understand that one exactly. But the question is, if a member of the public has a problem with any NGO in Kenya, where should he or he, uh, she or he take uh, his complaints to? Is it the NGO Coordination Board or the NGO Council? Okay, before I answer that one, le le let me look at w one of the comments that, is, that, is, that you have read there. Yes. About the who pays Gedenji. Mm -hmm. The chairman, according to our regulations, the chairperson is not, is not an executive chair. That means we are not paid. I just come to the office to see what the secretariat is doing. So you do have a secretariat? Yes. Headed by a CEO. The, 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 that is the prerogative of the council now to, to, you know, to look for money to, to pay the secretariat. But the chairman is not paid. That, that is one. The, the, the other one is uh, when we have, when we have uh, a problem, when we have a problem from an individual NGO, we, we, we don't actually uh, take that NGO to, you know, to call or anything, but we direct the same problem to the NGO board. Then w w when, at what point do you play that self-regulatory role? If I told you just relay a complaint directly to the NGO yeah, board? Any complaint uh, that, that needs action. But those others, according to our, uh, to, to our code, of, code, of, code of conduct, is, uh, w uh, you know, we, w we are together, we do one, two, three, one. But if you break the code of conduct, we, we have no, we are not mandated by any law to, to take that person to. Are you mandated to go out of your way and uh, not out of your way to go out and investigate any NGO uh, uh, on any allegations? Yes, yes, truly. Uh, that is our mandate, actually. Our mandate is to know where that opera, uh, uh, NGO operates from. So, so as it is now, yes. hmm. do you, Mr. Givinji, and your council recognize the board that we have now? In the name of the uh, National Coordination Board, yes. which Do is you created, created by the Act, yeah. Do you we know it is there, you know? but mm. it is not complete without the Council. It's all right. Do you recognize them? Do you take to them cases of rogue NGOs? We do. You do. We do. Even we though they have denied you your seat in the board. Yeah. One thing, my, my, my brother here, you cannot see the, the community, the community being a maybe maybe you know violated by one person and there is somebody there who can assist and because that person is not your friend you cannot take that comment so what we do as much as they are not recognizing it's us, not a, it's not an issue of friendship uh, it's an issue of law yes that you do not recognize uh, you're saying Fazul Mohammed and his board uh, the National Coordination Board uh, goes against the act in the operations mm -hmm. yet you still take complaints to them. How does that work? Oh, well, it works because now I, I, I need to be seen working for my people. So is Just the board legally constituted? Yes. The, I, I'm sorry? Is the board legally constituted? Without the cast, no. So it's not legally constituted? Yes. So two wrongs now make a right. Initially, you had said two wrongs do not Charles, make a right. Charles, let's be fair to the gentleman. He <laughs> just said he needs to be seen. 
to act for his members. Yes. Not really to act, but just to be seen. Mm -hmm. Is that right? No, not really right. <laughs> I, have, I have to act for my members. <laughs> not right. <laughs> well, uh, we continue looking at more uh, complaints here because there are quite a number of complaints. And yes, you can continue texting us on 22422. Uh, yes, there's that issue of uh, the, the NGO NKC. Uh, but I think it's confusing us by pointing fingers on everything. Uh, someone says you should you have failed and should be replaced. Uh, well, uh, for for your information, they have a general meeting, and if at all you are a member, you can go and yes, vote true, in your true. chairman if yes, you want. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Can the NGO representative distinguish for us the mandates granted to the NGO board in regards to those registered under the register of society and not NGO board? Is there a difference? Between Do they all have to be registered under the NGO? Uh, coordination board or are there organizations who are uh, who are your members but are registered under a different act we have uh, we have a registration for the for the NGO for you to become an NGO mm -hmm. you have to register under, under under the act yes under the act but uh, but there are other registrations like society societies and whatever they, they are not registered under, under this act so you do not uh, work with anyone who's not registered no. uh, registered under the uh, ngo coordination board mm. so all your members are under the ngo the NGO board. Board. Co 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 now board. that fazul mohammed has raised issues uh, and written a letter to uh, some of your members i'm assuming these are your members mm. uh have you uh, are you cognizant of uh these accusations the allegations made uh accusations uh like them receiving money from a certain foundation, them failing to uh, file returns, uh, yeah, them uh, employing, employing uh, foreigners. Uh, foreigners without the proper work permits. Are you aware of these complaints? Uh, truly, I'm not aware. Our, the office, our office is not aware of this. And now that the NGO board has, a uh, coordination board has raised these matters, uh, will you act on them? Uh, we shall in, we, we shall try to to investigate. We shall investigate, but not actually to act. To act. Uh, you, you seem reluctant to even uh, go deep and look into that matter. Why is that? No, not really. Is it because it has, uh, it, it originates from the uh, NGO coordination board? Don't you think that uh, in your role as a self-regulating body, that uh, Kenyans have a right to know what's happening in the NGO sector, that it should be a po incumbent upon you to take it up mm -hmm. upon yourself, mm -hmm. that any complaint raised against any of your members that you investigate? Yes. Now, uh, yeah, but fast, capacity. first, you, ha you, ha you have spoken of a reluctant. Why am I reluctant to, to, to act on, uh, upon, upon a matter, such a matter? I'm reluctant because now I'll just go brightly. I don't know who received what, where, when. Do you see? Mm -hmm. For me not to have a document, and in the fact what we are saying with our members, is that we have to know that uh, a certain NGO, and this is actually the meeting of, the, of, the, of, 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 our, of our board, that every NGO to have a form from us, the form that you take to the donor, that donor will know, you know, will tell us this NGO before qualifying to receive the money. This NGO is getting so much, and the, you know, the document, the, the, the document is saying that they are receiving this money to do one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So at, at the time of uh, maybe uh, filing returns, we need also to see that, that you received this and you have spent this. So your balance uh, left with you is this. And by then, we shall be able now to know, because we have that document, and the donor is waiting for our recommendation. The board is waiting for our recommendation. So we have to make sure that we have gone to the, to, to the ground to see what uh, Motegi Dimuri is doing. Do, do you do that to, for all your that members? That is what is needed to be done. But, but, but it doesn't happen. But it does not happen. Wow. Charles, okay, um, Motegi, I do not think I have any other questions let me, let on me, this let, particular matter. Let me ask him one question. A few months ago, one NGO Africa was raided by the police one morning. There was a lot of hula -balu about it. We didn't hear your voice. Why? I, I don't know why you didn't hear because I was on the, on the TV. Even what, the what, what was that very day? What was the position? In fact, I said it is wrong because we are not consulted. I had a, I had a press conference, mm. the same, mm. even about uh, even about my I, I don't know what they had done because I don't have the documents. But in still. 
that's why I'm saying the two wrongs do not make right. So I, I, I was there. Yeah. One, 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 one. Correct. Talking mm -hmm. of uh, okay. an NGO getting so much from a particular donor, there was some talk some time back about all donor funding be channeled to NGOs through the government. Mm -hmm. Then the NGOs now get them from the government based on how they are spending them. What's your position on this? It's completely wrong. That is completely wrong. That the, you know, the, the NGOs are, are given a, you know, a space to operate within themselves and the community, not through the government. Then you become a ministry in, in the making. But yeah? there, there needs to be some level of uh, regulation. Yeah, because uh, we have okay. seen countries, we have seen governments across the world toppled via NGOs, money from mm. people of interest, like the George Soros Foundation, they have been known to do that in quite a number of times. Don't you think it would be prudent for the government to have control of the funding that you people get? If Givinji's NGO asks for 10 billion from a donor and he gets 10 billion without the government knowing, he can do anything. If they can defy you, why do you think they the can? The money even sometimes, terrorist money comes to NGOs. In the front of the, yeah, true. But why is it happening? Why is it happening? It's like what you are, you, you are, you are putting it now, now, my brother here, that uh, maybe that particular uh, NGO or even the NGO world, the money needs to be, you know, to be channeled through the, the government. But with, within the act, in fact, if it is followed and the, the functions are done Which well. Which act are you talking about? The, the, even the, the, even the, the public the PB, even, even, the, even the PBU Act. Even the PBU Act is good. It's good as, as this one. And it will be as bad as this one if it is not followed. <laughs> Because initially when we started the show, you seemed to indicate that uh, the best remedy or the only remedy uh, for what is bedeviling the NGO sector in Kenya is the Public Benefits Organization Act of 2013, which is yet to be operationalized by the government. Uh, do you st uh, stand by that, that once this act is put into operation, that all this... Uh, Markiness that we now see, all this confusion in the NGO sector, that even your council will be will have more powers. Is that fact? Uh, it's it's not. It's not a fact, and I did not say that. I said it is good if it is put to act. But if it will not be put to act, it will be as useless as this one. So that is a good piece of legislation. It's only that it's not being followed. It is a it's a good legislation. Better than the PBO Act? Uh, they, they are equal because they are made, they are actually, they, they, most of the information comes from here. Then why was it necessary to have an act, uh, uh, another, uh, act. another act, if that one is just as good? In, in fact, it is as good as this one. That one is, a, is, is more, you know, with, a, with more information, mm -hmm. you know, more information, but uh, initially it is as good as this one. Okay. You said you are going to have elections? Yes. Are you going to defend your seat? Uh, well, I think. You're not, you're, not <laughs> you're not certain. You're not certain. I have some Today, <laughs> today I have eight, we have 37, 30, about <laughs> 45 more days to end of the year. I am I'm completely fed up with, uh, with this. Kind you of are this. fed up. So ah, why don't so you resign? Like, at, my, at my age, I'm... So why don't you... You, you, you wow. talk to these people. These people, these young people, I'm telling you, you people. <laughs> You people, it's like talking to the stones. So why don't you resign? Why do you suffer more? <laughs> it gets even more interesting. <laughs> Samuel Gidenji, uh, chairperson of the National Council of NGOs, a self-regulating non-partisan body comprising all registered NGOs in Kenya, he says is totally fed up with that council. He's totally fed up with his job he wants. But, but he can't resign. resign. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been Cheche. Thank you so much, Mona Samuel Gidenji, uh, Muteginjao, and Charles Odiambo. Chicha comes your way next week again on Wednesday. Good morning.